Turning the mic up. Psycho! How y'all doing? I saw that. Thank you. He's wearing the shirt. Make the for me. He's wearing the shirt. Mashallah. Oh, man. Look, Ikna has done it again. Subhanallah. Ikna 2013, they just bring everybody together. Is that why everybody came? Look at all of these Muslims. Look at y'all. You guys look so beautiful. I see them, they looking like this. I don't see nobody doing this. Everybody's just smiling, happy and excited. Woo! Salam alaikum! Like that. It's a beautiful feeling, right? Man. Igna is doing big things. They bring in YM out. They bring young Muslims out. They bring in Helping Hand out. They bring in the Together We Dream out. Everybody out. I'm, I'm excited. So let's find out who's here tonight, shall we? Is the Adams in the building? Uh oh. Oh my goodness. You know we had to have this late to make sure that you guys showed up on time. (laughs) Alhamdulillah, Arabs and black people, we relate to each other. It's a beautiful thing. Got a lot in common, man. You know what I always wanted to do? Because my mother, she took shahada when I was five years old, right? So we always wanted to speak Arabic. Just wanted to talk Arabic. I hear y'all speaking Arabic. And I wanted to speak Arabic. So when the people of other faith, they were challenging us, because I'm from the hood. I don't know if y'all knew that. <laughs> they was challenging us. They used to laugh at us. Ooh, look at the Muslims. Look at the Muslims. So I told my sister, I was like, look here. When they come around, let's speak Arabic. And she said, but we don't know no Arabic. I said, but we know Fatiha. <laughs> so what we're going to do is, we're going to go ayat for ayat in Fatiha. As soon as they come around. So when they came, Bismillah rahman rahim I was like, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. She said, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. The Malik, you know, Middin. And the, nam- the, the other people, the non-Muslims was like, oh. They are different. <laughs> and then we both be like, I mean, I mean, I mean, let's go, let's go. I just wanted to know, like, you know what I thought? I thought Shuf was somebody's name. Because every time they'd be like, shoof, shoof. And the people be like, they pay attention. They're like, shoof, shoof. So this one brother, they kept saying shoof to him. So I thought his name was shoof. So he got up and he started leaving. I was like, hey, where's shoof going? And the brother said, mad at shoof. I said, shoof. <laughs> mad at shoof. He said, shoof. Where's shoof going? <laughs> oh, man. It's hard times. Oh, is my is my Desi community here? Oh shoot! It's more Desi than not up tonight. Oh okay. Whoa whoa whoa. Man, I'm trying to learn how to speak Urdu. The only thing I know. I'm telling y'all, this is, Allah is so kind. They, you guys are the only ones have it. I'm jealous. 
You don't know if it's a yes or a no. <laughs> but it feels good, right? It just, I've been trying to learn it so when I speak to my Daisy family, I can just, because in the hood we do this. So when I speak to my Daisy family, And I, the brother was trying to explain to me. I was like, I want to speak Urdu. And he was telling me, he was like, you have too much energy. You have to close your mouth. And I was like, huh? You have to close your mouth. When we speak, we close our mouth. And I was like, oh. He's like, your mouth is too wide. <laughs> I started studying. This is what I got so far. Watch this, watch this. Ik. Do King Ja Punch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I learned that. You know how I remember it? Punch. <laughs> how I remember, man. Is it is is there anybody from the hood here? Oh, the black folk is in the building. I told y'all. Now, you know what I found out? Listen, alhamdulillah, Allah is so kind to us, to the black. You know why? Because there is black in every culture. I was in Saudi. I saw the brother. He looked just like Jerome from the hood. So I was like, hey, yo, what's up? He was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I was like, huh? Oh my goodness, it was beautiful. Alhamdulillah, it was exciting. Is it, is married people is here? Any married people? Nobody's married, this is wrong. You know what, on behalf of the sisters, right? Brothers, husbands, they have been making some complaints. They want us to be better. Alhamdulillah, they do. So is there any brothers out there that uh, do housework? Look, listen, listen, sisters, they don't. I'm talking about housework like you wash clothes, you do laundry, cook, order dishes. Look, 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 but I do, I do. <laughs> okay, okay, alhamdulillah. That's good, that's good. You got to keep it up, keep it up. This is good because you know the Prophet Sallallahu he did a lot of housework for all the other husbands. He was the busiest man in the world. I don't have time for this. <laughs> I don't wash dishes. I don't have time for this. Hey man, I ain't washing them dishes, man. Yeah. He the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi he did housework. So I'm gonna tell you, if you really want to be a good husband, this is what you do. If you can organize your wife's hijabs. Keep them all in this drawer, all in this drawer, all by colors and fabric. It's very important. <laughs> now, you know, sisters, the husbands, you know the reason why they don't like to take you, go, take you anywhere? I'll be honest with you. I'm going to tell you the truth. It's two questions that you ask that the husbands is afraid of. One of them is, how do I look? And the other one is, what should I wear? The man says, haram, haram. See, it doesn't matter what I say. She's going to change anyway. It looks good. Oh, no. This is what happens. How do I look? It looks nice. No. How do I look? It looks nice. How do I look? And all he's thinking about, I have to fold all of those hijab again. Oh, man, go easy on them. Alhamdulillah. It's good, man. It's good. It's good. We in this thing together. So you know what I want to do? Is there anybody, do you, anybody remember the rule for English touch weed? You know, I'm still working on this, on my, on my Quran recitation. So I program myself with English touch weed. It's been working for me. Do are y'all using it when you're at home? Haram. <laughs> this is 
so beautiful. You cannot be mad when you use the English touch. We sisters, if your husband comes home and he had a long day of work and he comes in, <laughs> what is my food? <laughs> and you look and you say, somebody said, that's my daddy. Oh, kids will tell it all, won't they? <laughs> may Allah make, may Allah have mercy on her. <laughs> so you tell your daddy, tell your mama, if she want to help your daddy, use English touch we. She can control the whole situation. So sisters, he comes home with the attitude, you'd be like, oh, I know what to do. English touch weed. You cannot be mad when you hear that melody. The rules of the runna and the qalqala. Oh! The rules in it, the way it sounds. Now this is not Quran, because we're still studying that. But the rules, watch it. Sisters say, your food You know what happens to your husband? He like, oh. <laughs> mashallah, mashallah. You have to teach. Nobody can be mad when you hear the rules of touch weed. So did you hear it? Your food. That's mud. Ooh. Two, four, six. Your food. <laughs> you gotta learn these rules. Alkala, the vibration. Runa. <laughs> Two count. It's nasal. In on the table. <laughs> Mashallah. So you teach the children. When the children are fighting, there is nobody can be mad in the house, ever. Children are fighting. Oh, no, 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 what are you doing? So then you come in, you're like, hey, tell me what happened. English touch weed. She took my toy. I had it first. <laughs> the kid be like, <laughs> Mashallah, Mashallah. I'm telling y'all, you just feel so good. Now, hopefully, and you all make dua for me. Once I learn these rules, I'll be able to recite Quran. Like my good brother that was opened up with Quran. Say I mean. I mean. That's what I want to do. Learn the rules. Oh man. So I wanna just I've been still focused on doing this da'wah. And you know we've been working on some amazing things. Like Alhamdulillah, I have the brothers from Amply Truth Productions is here and they're putting together the Omar Regan show. Television show. I know. So you got to like it on Facebook and everything because we're just trying to build the halal entertainment, make it good. Like, I would love to invite Elmo to the Omar Regan show. And Elmo would say, <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. to say, uh, thank you to Ikna. 
at the Islamic Circle of North America. <laughs> Oh, Allah is so kind to Emma. Allah is so merciful. Can you imagine it, Emma? La ilaha illallah. <laughs> Muhammad Darasulullah. <laughs> man, I want to do that, man. What if we could have, like, Imam Siraj talk to Elmo. Oh, wouldn't that be good? Because that's what I I Imam Qasim was talking about. He was like, man, the Imam should be coming. They wanted me to do Imam Siraj. I know. Is he still here? Okay, let's try it. Brothers and sisters, you know, brothers and sisters, there's something that Allah says inside of the Quran that we all must adhere to. And you know, and I know. And in my closing, does that sound like Imam Suraj? You know how he do that trembling? And then he do the Arabic, he do the Arabic. Every man is lost. You be like, yes, yes. Feeling like we going back to a black church. Yes. Hallelujah. I mean, Allah Akbar. Oh, man. We would bring, like, we would invite Chris Tucker. Be like, Chris Tucker, man, why don't you come out to the show? Chris Tucker would be like, hey, salam alaikum. Hey, what's happening, Muslims, man? I want to say a special shout out to all my Desi family. You know why I had to say that, man? Because the brother came up to me. He was like, hey, you Muslim? I was like, nope, not yet. And then he going to say something in Urdu. He said, K Maslahe. K Maslahe, man. And I said, ain't nothing wrong with me. What's wrong with you? It's Friday. You ain't got no job. And you going to Juma. And then I would like, man, I'm watching the clock. I have some, mm, oh, got to have some fun. Hold on. This is what I would like to do. Because may Allah have mercy on my father. He told me, he said, anything you watch, anything you listen to, always find the Islam in it. And if you can't find the Islam in it, you shouldn't be watching it. I mean... That's my daddy. So what happened with me? How many people know it was Michael Jackson? Oh. You better say you Muslim. I was like, man, in my mind, I just imagine, imagine, said, if I could have talked to Michael Jackson. And I'd say, Michael Jackson, let's take one of your songs and make it a nasheed for all of the Muslims. Just like my good brothers, Native Dean and Joshua and Tariq. Yeah. And in my mind, he would say, and which one would you want me to do? Which one would I want to see my next song? Show me the love singer. And how many people know Thriller? <laughs> and how many people know that routine? Ding, da, ding, ch, 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 ding, da, ding, ch. And they do it. Oh, got something new for you. It's that new Halal Michael Jackson song. So we, where's that mic stand? Hold on, we're going to do this. Hold on. So we go, so we go. go. The halal thriller. Instead of doing this, I know y'all know. I know y'all know. Here we go. 
Just a hard one, just a hard one, just a hard one. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Then Michael Jackson be like, ding, ding, ding. it's time for fudge. In Muslims, it's time to wake up. Woo! It's time for fudge. In shade time, we'll try to mess you up. Woo! It's not a dream. You got to get up and pray to hold on to this thing. Open your eyes and focus on the paradise. The paradise. It's time for fudge. Woo! <laughs> Woo! You better say you're Muslim. You better say you're Muslim. Man, the clock said we out of time. <laughs> I know. And not that she wants to go. Alhamdulillah, another major announcement. Alhamdulillah, I do want to say thank you to Ikna. Thank you to all of y'all, Alhamdulillah, for us keep coming out. <laughs> if y'all wouldn't come out, man, it's a beautiful thing, man, Alhamdulillah, and that you guys support in Halal Entertainment. So, and also be on the lookout. We're making a movie, halal movie, starring Omar Regan and Baba Ali. Yeah. It's the first ever halal comedy action feature film. So, alhamdulillah, be on the lookout. Follow on uh, Instagram, Omar Regan, omarregan.com. Twitter, Omar Regan. Alhamdulillah, stay up to date with everything that we're doing, inshallah ta'ala. Shout out to Tima Tube, Issa and Aya, and Ziza back home. Love y'all. And inshallah ta'ala, all of my family and all of you. Shukran. Salamu alaikum.